Welcome to the Shreveport Connection with Tommy. This video is all in your IndieFed results from August the 12th and uh, beyond. Uh, Dragon Gate, IW, A Mid South, SWE, IWC results from August the 12th. Po <coughs> posted by Timothy Givens. The following results are from the recent Dragon Gate live event. The event took place August the 10th. At the Congress Center in Nagoya, Aichi, Japan. Pre show saw Yos Yosuke Santa Maria defeating Sacha Yohoko Boy. Tag Team Action saw We Are Team Veteran Don Fuji and Gama defeating Ryotsu Shimuzu and Mr. High Tension Kotoka. Tag Team Action saw The Jimmies. Jimmy Kata and Naoki Tanasaki, Toya Naka, Dolphin defeating Mad Blanky tag team of Monday Ryu and Punch Tamanaga. By disqualification, singles action saw Eita Kobayashi defeating Akira Tozawa. Six man action saw the Monster Express of Masato Yoshino, Shinjo Takaji, and Yuha Nation defeating the Jimmies of Jimmy Suzumu, Jimmy Kata. Kajatora and Genki Horaguchi. T Hawks Millennials, seven match series, match number four. T Hawk versus Yamo Yamato went to a 30 minute time limit draw. Opened the Triangle Gate Championship match. Mad Blanky, Naruki, Doi, KZY, and Cyber Kong <coughs> defeated uh, BXB Hulk. Masaki Machizuki and Dragon Kid. And that was it for that. Results, the results from IWA Mid South Live event. Took place August the 10th, 2014 at the Jammers Roller Dome in Clarksville, Indiana. Singles action saw Graham Bell defeating Spike Lopez. Singles, another singles match, Lee Byford defeating Jake Parnell. Five way dance saw Jack Thrower defeating the American Viking, Christian Skyfire, Johnny Long, and Percy Davis. Triple that action saw Mickey Knuckles defeating Heidi Lovelace and Hudson Envy. Ian Rotten, Ian Rotten retirement match saw had a special guest referee Mickey Knuckles as Ian Rotten versus Johnny Rotten. Six was declared as a no contest. Number one contenders match for the IWA Mid South Heavyweight Championship. BJ Whitmer defeated Ace Perry, Gary J, Reed Bentley, and Shane Mercer. Triple that. Dance saw Mitch Page defeating Derek Neal and Zodiac. Well, I wonder if Bruce Beef Beefcake came back to be that Zodiac character. Hmm. I remember him in, in the uh, faction with the Taskmaster. Singles action saw Josh Crow defeating Aaron Anders. Mixed tag team match saw Chase Matthews and Thunder Kitty defeating Joseph Schwartz and Randy West. Singles action saw Isaiah defeating Harry Palmer. Triple that tag team match of the Hooligans. Devin Cutter and Mesa Cutter defeating Team Friday of Homicide and B-Boy. And Team IOU of Nick Iggy and Kerry Awful. IAWA Mid-South Heavyweight Championship match saw Congo Kong defeating John Wayne Murdoch. And the following results from Southside Wrestling Entertainment from a live event that took place on August the 10th at Pri Priory Center in St. Neots, England. Federal four-way match for the SWE Speed King Championship. Kaylee Ray defeated Robbie X, Jimmy Havoc, and Zach Northern. Singles action saw Marty Janetti defeating Six Sticks. Tag team action saw Chris Saban with Real Osprey defeating the Hunter Brothers of Lee Hunter and Jim Hunter. Singles action Tatanka defeating RJ Sint. Yeah. He's the one that was just released from uh, WWE. I remember he's the brother of Great Khali, I believe. Uh, SWE Tag Team Championship match. Sumerian Death Squad of Michael da Dante and Tommy End defeated the Project Ego of Martin Kirby and Chris Travis. No disqualification, no count, false count anywhere match. Paul Malin defeated Joseph Connors. Another singles match, the Masterpiece defeated Eddie Dennis. <clears throat> That's how, yeah, Chris 
Christopher Masters. SWE Heavyweight Championship match. Mark Haskin defeated Roderick Strong. And results from Insane Clown Championship Wrestling. And now that's Insane Championship Wrestling. The uh, event took place August 10, 2014 at Studio 24 in Edinburgh, Scotland. In ring segment of ICW champion Jack Jesser came to the ring and discussed Drew Galloway's recent return to Galloway's attack. Uh, well, he did attack. Uh, uh, Drew Galloway returned, he attacked him. Singles action, Damian O'Connor defeated Louis Gervin. Singles action saw David Yum Yum Devlin defeating Joe Hendry. Singles action saw Darkseid defeating Liam Thompson. ICW Zero G Championship match. Mark Kofi defeated Kenny Williams. Singles action saw Nikki Storm defeating Viper. And the ICW Tag Team title match. Earn Jew. That's I R N Jew. Tag team of Colt Cabana and Grado defeated the New Age Click of Chris Renfro and BT Gunn to become the new ICW Tag Team Champions. And also from August the 12th results. From Nagoya, Achi Japan, pretty show. I think the same. Same results almost. Pretty show. Yosuke Santa Maria defeated Sachi Hoko Boy. Tag team action. We are team veteran. Don Fuji and Gama defeated Ryotsu Mizu and Mr. High Tension Kotoka. Tag team action saw the Jimmies of Jimmy Kanda and Mr. Kuku, Naoki Tanazaki, Toya Naka Dolphin. What a long name. I'll just start calling them NTTD. Defeating Mad Blanky of Mon Monday Ryu and Punch Tamanaga by disqualification singles action. Aita Kabashi defeated Akira Tozawa. Six-man uh, six tag. Monster Express. Masato Yoshino Shinto Takagi. Yuha Nation defeated the Jimmies. T-Hawks Millennials. Match number four, again, T Hawk versus Yamato. Went to a 30 minute time limit draw, opened to try a triangle gate championship match. Mad Blanky defeated BIB. <coughs> BXB Hope, Masaki Moshizuki, and Dragon Kid. IWA. Yep. That's the same result for the game, isn't it? Get to all that. What already did Lucha report from August the 9th. Posted August the 9th by Timothy Gibbons again. Thanks, Timothy, for the results. And yeah, he's on my Facebook page. He's also on Ringside News posting some results. Mr. Ziz stated yesterday that there was a movement. Now, regarding him and Payroll Pe Aguero having a Mascara Contra Caballera match. But the match uh, he really wants is with Averno, who, who he feels is a nat, nat, his natural real rival, and said he didn't have much of a chance to take Averno's mask, so he definitely wants to take his hair. So he also talked about the current state of CMLL and said that they need to change everyone in charge of the promotion, pretty much because them having bad business is bad for business, bad for everyone. He also stated that he left on great terms. The BS meter equals Hogan level. <clears throat> and that he only wants the best for his friends there. He did have a funny line about people chanting both Mystico and Sakara at him, saying that he has been successful with two gimmicks, unlike Pero Aguayo Jr. and Dr. Wagner Jr., who are both living off their father's success. But he did say that he thought they chanted those names instead of Mr. Ziz because that name is too hard to pronounce. Sangre Azteca underwent knee surgery yesterday afternoon, being injured on a dive from Hombre Bala Jr. at Arena Mexico on Tuesday night, and he will be out of action for at least a few weeks. And again, this news is on August the 9th. And AAA results from August the 6th. 
from Plaza de Toros, El Pinal de Tezutlan, TV taping. Luxor and Nino Hamburguesa, Venom defeated Carta Bra Bravo Jr., Fres Fresero Jr., and Grand Apache. Match number two, El Aguido, Fabi Apache, and De, De Nastia. Pimpinella Escara defeated Demon Rocker, Taya Valkyrie, Mini Charlie Manson, and Black Bomba. With the Fabi going over Taya and doesn't look good for her at Triple Mania. That's coming up. <coughs> Match number three, Aerostar Bengala Drago defeated Hijo Del Fantasma, Pentagon Jr. and Superfly. Match number four, Dega Eterno. Hijo Del Parada Morgan defeated Australian Suicide Los Ger Garros Del Cielo Angelico Jack Evans and match number five Phoenix Miss Disease Psycho Clown defeated Averno Black Warrior Hijo Del Texa Texano with Texano and Psycho challenging each other to a one fall match afterwards, but it turned into a big brawl. Independent from uh, August the 5th, Arena Aficion de Pachuca. Match number one, El Mer Mercielago versus El Hungaro. Uh, match number two, oh, well, these are advertised. It should have been whatever. <clears throat> Gran Apache and Super Bolito versus Los Mohicanos, one and two. El Trio Fantasia, Super Mu Munico, Super Pinoco, and Super Rotan defeating Black Terry, Rambo, Shu, El Gu Gu Guerrero. So there was a there was actual results for that one. Uh, El Trio Fantasia of Super. Uh, okay, that was the one we already did. Super Libre of Fu Fuzera Guerrero defeating Aguila Solitaria. Match number five, your main event, Kanek. El Fantasma, Headhunter One, defeating Mr. Jack Mascara. And Anno Anno Dos Mil, Scorpio Jr., even with Kanek and Headhunter One fighting each other. IWRG results. Arena Nakapan. Match number one, Matrix Jr. defeated Omega. Match number two, Atomic Star and Matrix Jr. defeated Black Nico and Saya. Match number three, Latigo and Crystal beat Hip Hop Man and Sexy Girl. Match number four, Candice Lupus, Danny Casas, Tony Rivera defeating Golden Magic, Real Apago and Venema Veneno. Match number five, uh, Ironia, Spider Boy, Yakuza, defeating Black Terry, Metallion, Power Bull, when Yakuza fouled, and Pan Terry with Rudo refereeing race. Race Rose is uh, siding with, uh, with AULL -L, guys. Power Bull was stretched out after a first fall. After eating a power driver, so Alan Extreme replaced him for the rest of the match. So we had a referee bump. Promotion El Guarado. August the 5th results from Lienzo Chara or Charo de Martinez de la Torre. Match number one, Mini Felino defeating La Chona. Match number two, Dragon Dorado and Jaguar defeated. Caballero, Ninja, and Slayer. Match number three, Saul, and Angel, Assassino, and Karina Duval defeating Princessa, Metallica, and Gabriel. Oh, Gabriella. <coughs> Match number four, Ruleta de la Morete, Demonio Rojo defeating Ray Pantera, who unmasked as Rafael Alvar Alvarado. 42-year-old from Puebla, 
With 16 years experience, other participants were Flower Boy, Patufo, Las Totems, 1 and 2, and match number 5, your main event, Flare Boy, Sinkara Original, Extremo defeating Arginus Averro, or was that Averno and Ray Pantera Jr. Promocina Promotions Juniors from the 4th of August, Dumole La Feria de Leon. Match number one, Astro Boy, Bogart, Bello Willie B, Black Evil, Joe Black, and Menza Jero. Or Menza Haro. Mexicans pronounce the J silent. Huh. <clears throat> Match number two, K9 Jr. and K9 2. Defeated Skeleton Jr. and Ultimo Halcon Azteca. Match number three, Argos Mini Mania, Maniaco Sexy Star. Defeating Arrow Fly, Arginus, and Fabi Apache. Match number four, the Psycho Circus of Monster Clown, Murder Clown, Psycho Clown. Defeating El Consejo of uh, Hijo he del Fantasma, Hijo del Texano, and Silver King. And your main event, match number five, Electro Shot, La Parker Jr., Sin Cara, Original, Defeated, Pedro Agreo Jr., Aferno, and Black Warrior. Promocionos, K. Denna, from the 3rd of August, Arena Calicio de Monterrey. Match number four, one, Scramble Match, for L. U. W. F. Cruiserweight title. Shakira defeated... Identix to retain his title. Other participants saw Harry L. Su Sucio, Eclipso, Destructor, and Desantre Negro. Match number two, Lady Flammer defeated Lady Jaguar. Match number three, Poor El Campanato, Sin Limit. Adamo de defeated Panther Jr. to win the title. Match number four, Northern Tag Titles. Coker Viper and Memo Valley defeated Pee Wee and Principe de Oro, Oro to retain their titles. Match number five, Ruleta de la Muerte, Orokita Negra defeated Salavino who was shaved. Other participants uh, saw Crazy Demon, Mercenario Silver Gemini, Black Gemini, Angel of Special, Red Flammer and Hijo de la Morte along with Gato Fantasma and Desafio. And your match number six, UWA Middleweight title, Silver Star defeated Pantro to retain his title. And your main event, match number seven, Super Libre, Dr. Jack, uh, Dr. Wagner Jr. defeated Ellie Park in a match full of blood and weapons. And this was where Doc got the vein in his shoulder. Destroyed by a light tube. Thanks to wrestling-news.net for the results for that. The following results from a recent New Japan Pro Wrestling Live event took place on August 8, 2014 at the Culture Gym Gymnasium in Yokohama, Kanagawa, Japan. Mostly in JPW matches, G1 Climax, Block Climax blocked a tournament match. Shelton Benjamin defeated Tomo Eki Hanma. Uh, block B tournament match saw Yujihiro Takahashi defeating Toru Yano. Another uh, Climax B tournament saw Lance Archer defeating Hiroki Goto. Climax B block tournament. Carl Anderson defeated Tetsuya Naito. Back to block A, tournament match. Doc Gallows defeated Katsuyori Shibata. Another block, block A tournament match. Senzuki Nakamura defeating Bad Luck Fail. Block B tournament match. AJ Styles defeated Togi Makabe. <coughs> block A tournament match. Davey Boy Smith Jr. That's Davey Boy Smith Jr. for those that don't know. <coughs> defeated Hiroshi Tanahashi. Block B tournament match, uh, Kazuchika Okada defeating Minoru Suzuki. Again, thanks to wrestling-news.net. August the 18th, 
2015. Should be 14. Two tags from Cleveland, Ohio attended the American Revolution Wrestling Ball at Ballpark on Saturday in Avon Lake, uh, Ohio. Is that the following report from this event? The event was held at Lake Erie Crushers Baseball Stadium, and the place was pretty full. It was a great event. The special advertised wrestlers were Scott Hall, X Pop, Grand Mrs. XA, and Scotty Too Hotty. There were also a lot of great indie performers, too. Johnny Gargano and Matt Crump. Matt Cross were both huge with all the fans. Scott Hall's son, Cody Hall, was also over big as he was a beast. I swear he is a cross, cross between former TNA performers, Crimson and Matt Morgan. I really think he will. we will see Cody on television sometime soon. Also saw Havoc and her. <clears throat> her and I had some great conversations about the, her career, and I asked her when we would see her on TNA's impact. She said she technically couldn't say but that she will be on TV in two weeks. Well, since I'm doing this result, she's been on the last two impact tapings. <clears throat> Scotty Juhati was a real jerk uh, during my time with him. Cost $20 to get, get, get a picture with him. And $10, $10 for an autograph and on an 8x10. He wasn't interacting with fans and just seemed really close off, closed off. Three young fans in front of my friend and I wanted to get their tickets. Signed, and he wouldn't do it. My friend paid $20 for the kids to get their tickets signed. Grandmaster Sexy was great. The personality you used to see him on, on TV is the personality you see in person. Great dude. But still cost $20 to get a picture with him. x Pop was awesome walking right through the crowds. He had a lot of stuff for sale, but if you had something of your, on your own, he was more than happy to sign in. Take free pictures and shake your hands. Super awesome guy. And my buddy asked him, to do a sign for him as well, and he signed it as one, two, three kid, and laughed in it, in it as well as he did. <clears throat> Last but not least, Scott Hall, holy hell, what a great guy. The line for him didn't seem to move, and it was because he charged nothing and signed as many autographs as he wanted. He would pose with you however he wanted. He interacted with the fans and answered all questions, and I have met a lot of wrestlers over the year, and no one was personal and open as, he, as Scott Hall was. He really was just an exceptional guy to me. I've been to TNA Live, TNA tapings in Cleveland, the Destination X, 2010 pay-per-view in Orlando, Raw, SmackDown, WWE Live events, and AIW promotion shows. And this event by American Revolution Wrestling was easily top three. The Indian wrestlers put on a great show. They brawled through the crowd in and, out, in and out of the dugouts. Similar to the base brawl events from TNA, and other promotions as well and interacting with the crowd before during and after the matches and events all the wrestlers work very hard and deserve all the crowd applause and any reaction they received if anyone has a chance to attend American Revolution Wrestling event or even meet Scott Hall go out of your way to do it you won't be disappointed and I think he passed along the uh, events for that well from August the 24th results Unknown promotion, bad influence of uh, Christopher Daniels and Craig Frankie Kazarian defeated Adam Cole and Michael Bennett. Match number two, two saw Adam Pierce defeating Tadarius Thomas. Tommaso Ciampa defeated Jimmy Jacobs. AJ Styles defeated Kyle O'Reilly. Six way dance saw ACH defeating Adam Page and BJ Whitmer and Bobby Fish and Cedric Alexander and Jay Lethal. Well, this seems like a Ring of Honor uh, result. Hanson defeated Roger Strong, the Briscoes of Jay Briscoe and Mark Briscoe defeated Young Bucks of Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson. Ring of Honor World Title Match saw Michael Elgin defeat Silas Young. Death before dishonor from Ring of Honor. Night two results. So these were the paper the events for the Death Before Dishonor. Well this was number twelve. Dark match of Cheeseburger, Will Ferreira, and Louis, Louis Linden defeated Psycho Mike, Matt Sales, and Stokely Hathaway. The Decade, Roger Strong and Jimmy Jenkins defeated Josh Alexander and Ethan Gabriel Owens. And the second dark match, or third dark match, TV title, Jay Lethal defeated Caprice Coleman. 
I actually think it was uh, uh, the, the last two was uh, the first two matches. The Decade and uh, TV title match was one and two. Four-way match was a uh, match number three. ACH defeated BJ Whitmer and Michael Bennett and Silas Young. Match number four, Adam Cole defeated Hanson. Match number five, Ring of Honor title match. Michael Elgin defeated Tommaso Ciampa. Match number six, Adam Page defeated Adam Pierce. Match number seven, AJ Styles defeated Cedric Alexander. Match number eight, Team Elimination match. Matt, Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish defeated. Bad, uh, bad influence of Frank Kazarian and <coughs> Christopher Daniels, Mark Briscoe, and Jay Briscoe. <clears throat> August the 24th, results from Combat, Combat Zone Wrestling. Latin Dragon defeated Alice Colon. Colon. Papadon, uh, Papadon defeated Greg, Greg Excellent. Two-on-one handicap match. De Devin Moore defeated Milk Chocolate of Randy Summers and Brandon Watts. Match number four, CZ CZW Wired TV title match. Shane Strickland defeated Lucky 13. Match number five, DJ Hyde versus Drew Gullick ended with a winner, ended without a winner as a no contest. Match number six, Alexander James defeated Mambo. <coughs> Three-way uh, three dance, JG Dunn defeated Dave Christ and John Silver. Match number eight, Joe Gacy defeated Pepper Parks. Match number nine, CZW World Heavyweight Title Match, Biff Music defeated Jake Christ. Shine 21 results by Nick McGee. Thanks, uh, thanks him. from Twitter account PWS Mark Talk. From August the 24th, 2014, number one contenders match from Shine Four Way Dance. Nevea defeated Amazing Kong and L Leah Von Dutch and Sue Young. Match number two, the buddy system of Heidi Lovelace and Solo Darling. Defeated Amanda Rodriguez and Jamie Jameson. Match number three, Thunder Kitty defeated Justin Silver. Match number four, Kimber Bomb of Kimber, uh, Kimberly and Cherry, Bo Cherry Bomb defeated SNX Express of Sassy Stephanie and Jesse Bell saw Smothers. Match number five, Taylor May defeated La Rosa Negra. Number six, sixth match of the evening, Shine Tag Team Titles. Match. Legendary of Mal Malia Hosaka and Brandy Wine defeated Lucha Sisters of Mia Yim and Leva. Match number seven was a shine title match. Ivan Lee Velez defeated Nevaeh. Match number eight, Havoc's last stand dog collar and chain match. Jessica Havoc defeated Allison K. And you're. <coughs> August the 26th news, breaking news according to a very reliable source, IWA Mid-South Ted Petty Invitational has been cancelled. More as the story develops, Chicago King of Trios 2014 updated participants fifth team announced. Thanks to Nick McGee who sent in the results. Well, the news for that. Check out updated time, updated lineup. Chikara has announced that the Devastation Corporation of Max Mashmaster, Blaster Mc Massive Flex Rumble Crunch is the fifth trio confirmed for the 2014 King of Trios. The 2014 King of Trios tournament is scheduled to take place September 19th, 20th to 21st in Eastern Pennsylvania. Following tag, uh, following teams are officially for an event. Spirit Squad of Mikey, Johnny and Kenny, the Spectral Envoy of Ultra Matches Black, Hollow Victor Fright Mayor. Team UK, Damien Dune, Pete Dune, Mark Andrews, The Colony, Fire Ant, Silver Ant, Worker Ant. And finally, the Devastation Corporation, Max Smash Masher, Blaster, McMassive, and Flex, Rumble Crunch. August 26th, the Hardy Boys headlining a house of hardcore event. The Hardy Boys and Tommy Dreamer are first talent to be announced for the November 14th, House of Hardcore event taking place at the old ECW Arena in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. While Matt Hardy has competed for House of Hardcore before, this is the first time the Hardy Boys will appear as a tag team there. For more event information, visit houseofhardcore.net. Ah. Uh.
okay, we got some uh, Global Wrestling Force news from the 27th of August. Has exceeded its borders again, this time reaching Australia and New Zealand. PWA Australia out of Sydney. The website of PWAAustralia.com. Russell Clash out of Melbourne. Go to WrestleClash.com. Dot AU. Riot City Wrestling out of Adelaide. The website of RiotCityWrestling.com. Explosive Pro Wrestling out of Perth. EPWPerth.com. And Impact Pro out of Auckland. We go to the website of ImpactProWrestling.co.nz. They are the latest promotions worldwide to agree to partner with GFW. Don't forget, it's a reality show slash wrestling. GFW now has participants in Mexico, Japan, England, Ireland, Germany, Australia, and New Zealand. It seemed like a natural progression to reach out down under. GFW founder and CEO Jeff Jarrett says, <clears throat> quote, professional wrestling has a solid fan base throughout Australia and New Zealand, and we're pleased to have an opportunity to bring that product to America. All of our agreements just go to show the popularity of wrestling around the world. Wherever you go, you can find athletes putting on great shows for their dedicated fans, unquote. Australia native and international TV star, Rove Mc McManus is excited to see his mates. Hashtag join the force. Quote, I have witnessed firsthand some of the fantastic talents uh, we have down under, and I believe the time is right to start showing the world why they breed us Aussies tough. Unquote. As, the, as McManus said, some of these best entertainers in the world have learned their craft in Australia, and I have no doubt we have some of the best professional wrestlers in the world right at our doorstep. Another unquote. The partnership continues to stack up, but the key remains getting a TV deal. L. Ray Network and Mark Burnett's One Three Media announces production start on Lucha Underground. Hour-long weekly series shooting in Los Angeles to feature five luchadors from popular Lucha Libre AAA franchise premiering Wednesday, October 8th at 8 p.m. High Octane Series anchors new night of original unscripted programming. Get it. Get this. Unscripted, folks. AAA Lucha Underground Austin, Texas, August 27th. News from uh, El Rey Network. Puts his spin on Lucha with a Lucha Underground and original action pack series from Emmy Award winning producer Mark Burnett's 1-3 Media. Production will begin on September the 6th in front of a live audience in Boyle Heights, Los Angeles. The character-driven freestyle wrestling series is set to debut Wednesday, October 8th at 8 p.m. So they are taped. They have five stars signed so far from the AAA company. More are expected to sign. Okay, uh, results from August 29th, 2014, PWG Battle of Los Angeles Night 1. From the American Legion Post of uh, 308 in Reseda, California. Thanks to Zach Zimmerman for posting the results. TJ Perkins defeated Bobby Fish in the first round match. Roger Strong over Biff Music in the first round match. Trevor Lee defeated Cedric Alexander in the first round match. Candice LeRae and Joey Ryan defeated Ricochet and Rick Swan. And bad influence to retain the PWG tag titles. Match number five, Michael Elton over Tommaso Ciampa in a first round match. AJ Styles defeated Brian Myers with a first round match. Kyle O'Reilly submitted to, uh, submitted Drew Gullick in a non-title first round match. Match number eight, your main event, Chuck Taylor, Kenny Omega, and Zack Sabre Jr. defeated Adam Cole and the Young Bucks. Night number two from August the 30th. Battle of Los Angeles Night 2, American Legion Post 308 in Reseda, California. Results again by posted by Zach Zimmerman. Match number one, Candice Lee defeated Rick Swan in the first round match. Johnny Gargano over Chuck Taylor in the first round match. Ricochet pinned Chris Saban in the first round match. Red Dragon defeated Drew Gollick and Beth Music. Matt Seidel over Chris Hero in the first round match. Match number six, Jack 
Zack Sabre Jr. defeated Adam Cole in a first round match. Kenny Omega pinned ACH in a first round match. Match number eight, the Young Bucks defeated Bad Influence in, in your main event. Night three results. August 31st, from the American Legion, 308 in Reseda, California. Thanks again to Zach Zimmerman. Match number one, Johnny Gargano defeated Candice LeRae in a quarterfinal match. Ricochet pinned TJ Perkins in a quarterfinal match. Trevor Lee upset Michael Elgin in a quarterfinal match. Kenny Omega defeated Matt Saddle in a quarterfinal match. Roger Strong over AJ Styles by disqualification in, in quarterfinal match. They did the old Eddie Aguero smoking gun finish to advance Strong and avoid beating Styles. Crowd didn't like the finish. Match number six, Kyle Ray defeated Zack Sabre Jr. in a non-title quarterfinal match. After the match, Roger Strong attacked O'Reilly. Sabre, referee not. And Excalibur, Bobby Fish ran out to make the save for his Red Dragon partner. <clears throat> Match number seven, Mount Rushmore of Adam Cole and the Young Bucks defeated ACH. Brian Myers and Chris Saban. Roger Strong got a bye in the tournament. Finals because of the injury to O'Reilly from the attack from earlier. Match number eight, Johnny Gargano over Trevor Lee to advance to the finals. Match number nine, Ricochet pinned Kenny Omega to advance to the finals. Match number ten, Chris Hero, Joey Ryan, Rick Swan, Chuck Taylor, and Willie Mack defeated Biff Music, Drew Gullick, Cedric Alexander, Bobby Fish, and Tomasa Ciampa. There were lots of silliness in this match, including a slow-mo spot and injured Trent Beretta run-in. Willie Mack gave a tear-filled goodbye, goodbye speech to the fans in Reseda as he prepares to relocate to Florida and report to NXT. And your main event, Ricochet defeated Johnny Gargano and Roger Strong to win the 2014 Battle of Los Angeles. After the match, Roger Strong beat up Ricochet and broke his trophy. And that concludes my results to, uh, for the month of August from July. Thanks again. Peace out. If you didn't know, you better call me, bro.